This machine is a C700. It's one of the latest models out, and it's a toner base. It's a laser commercial grade printer. It's a press. It's considered a press. The capabilities of this machine are basically endless. Right now what we have, um, it has the capability of doing double-sided, and in the industry it's called duplex, so this is double-sided like this as opposed to one side. It has the capacity to print out paper up to 13 by 19 inches, 110 pound cover stock, which is fairly thick. Um, it also has a touch screen and it has the ability to adjust your color here, adjust your profiles, meaning what drawers. We have six drawers that come out. The three drawers on this side it allows the air to circulate through the paper so that it can flow through the printer easily. Um, and then these three have the capabilities of up to 80 pound cover stock to put through. Right out here is where the paper comes out. There are two trays and it has a capacity of holding quite a lot at once and it will indicate when you need to take the paper off, when uh, there needs to be more toner. If you look over here, you press this, open this up. This is where all your toner is. This is where your black toner is, cyan, magenta, and yellow. That's a four color process that essentially is for printing across the board. Here's a Pantone book which displays a spectrum of colors used in a variety of industries. So in the past, before we had these machines, uh, there used to be a lot of setup, there used to be a lot of prep work, a lot of waste, a lot of fumes, a lot of chemicals. This essentially has taken all of that out of the equation. So this film that we have right here, we just produced on the camera. So now I take it to the light table and I have a ruled up sheet where I position the exposed film that I just did and I keep it in great position where it's all lined up. So it would be a light exposed to this. It would transfer this image onto here, onto this metal plate. And that's how we would put it on the print, printing press. So you put that metal plate on here. And you put your ink in your, your ink fountain, in the rollers. And uh, the ink transfers on from the plate. This is called the blanket. Your sheets go right through here. And it gets transferred to the blanket to your, your actual sheet that when it comes out. Old technology. We're glad to see that we moved on, but we still run this press. Back in the 1800s, people used letter presses, which basically were big machines that you were able to line letters up and print them onto a sheet of paper. But this took up time and a couple steps were needed, just like with printing in the 1900s. First off, you would get an idea, so either a word sentence, book, phrase, or image. Then, you would either carve your image into wood or put together letters and numbers that are pre-built. Or you can make a plate like we saw earlier. Next, you would place your letters in a clamp and put the clamp into the press. And keep in mind that the letter press worked not with electricity, but with the human power of the printer that's running the machine by pushing a foot pedal. That would spin a lot of gears and that would cause three rubber rollers to roll over the plate of the press, as you see here, and get full of ink that you would apply to the surface of the plate. This process is very similar to that of a typewriter, where when you push a key, the letter comes up, gets on the ink, and then gets pressed onto the paper. Then it would repeat until the job is done. It was very hard work, but it was the only way they used to do it back then. Printing took a long time in the 1700s. In the colonial era, people used a Gutenberg printing press. In order to print out something, you would need to follow a set of steps. First, one worker would take the two rubber dowels and smear them in ink. 
They must be perfectly coated with ink. Then that worker would pound the dowel straight down onto a set of metal letters they arranged into words, like what we did last time with the last printer. Then another worker would put a piece of paper in the paper tray and close it and fold the paper tray over. Then the worker would slide the paper into a position before pulling a lever that pushed the paper into the ink-coated letters. Then they would repeat. At this rate, 80 copies would take almost an hour. Okay, so this machine right here is our paper cutter. Um, it's a 29 inch paper cutter. It's called a Challenger. And um, it's uh, very dependable. It's probably about 40 years old. It's part of this old technology that uh, you know, has never, um, it's still in use, but uh, somewhat antiquated at this point. So the paper cutter is a, has this very sharp, long blade to it. Very, very dangerous. If you happen to brush your hand against that blade when you're changing the blade, um, it could cut your hand really, really badly. So it's, this machine is great, but definitely have to have a lot of respect for it. Before the video is over, I would like to say a huge thanks to First Step Print Shop. They do printing, shirts, apparel, anything. Go check them out. Links to their website and YouTube page in the description.